Hello friends, today I want to show you a platform where you can create um, free C panel and remain. Just come to this website, Eliost, Eliost.org. Now on this website, if you don't have an account before, you can sign up. Let me quickly sign up. Okay, so enter your email address. So you sign up after signing up you can just let me log in with my account here but there's one thing i want to tell you when you create your account you need to go to your email to verify your account that's the first thing after the verification is successful come back to this platform log in again check your status it will tell you that you should wait for a while while your seed panel is creating so you need to wait for like 10 minutes after you're waiting you will see this place you will come to this place or let me say this play will come up after you're logging so click on this place to go to your cpanel now you can see i have my cpanel with me here and you know it's free is totally free i have my cpanel the hosting and as well as the domain everything is free so you can see this is my hosting sorry this is my domain so this domain now you can if i come let me check it how it works online so online here yeah. as you can see you can see it's working now but i don't but i don't have anything inside that's why it is showing like that so let me go to find manager here so you can see the file manager on this place so there is no file you want to you can create a file if you have anything you want to upload you can upload your file in zip file anyhow okay so let me show you so that you can see that the website is working perfectly. Let's put something here. Wow. Okay. So this is my website here. Yeah. As you can see. So wow. Now here is my domain. That's site 38. That's my username when I was creating the um the account. It will ask for your username. So that's the username I use. So that is a simple way. Now, what if you want to create database like a yeah, database? It has PHP my admin. There's domain you can even use add on domains. As you can see, there maybe you buy domain in one website, you want to make use of this hosting, you can still use it. The only thing there is the uh, the size which is given to you is, is one gig. So you're having a space of one gig. But everything is unlimited except your database, which is uh, let's say one gig also. And why this one bandwidth is unlimited, hard on domain is unlimited, subdomain is unlimited, everything is unlimited. So you can see my SQL database is, is also is unlimited. Okay, so that's a simple way you can have your own SIP panel as well as a um, domain. Okay, now let us learn how you can create user database and um, password. So here we go. Come to MySQL database. That is MySQL I want to create now. So we can follow this, but I prefer to use this one. So in this place, the name of your database, let me call it um example so create okay database is created so let's click on go back as you can see my database is created you see so the next thing you need to do create user now let me call my user um, 
let me so call it user db what are the password to use mm, i don't let me use this password let me just generate password here so you can see this is the password i want to use let's have a document where we keep our stuff the username we created the database we created the password the hosts so what's the password i just create this is the password so I, i've copied it you need to click on i have copied this password in the same place okay so after that you click on create user as you can see this user is created what's the name of the, this is the user here is the user so copy it uh user so paste it here what do we need we need password okay let's go back um sorry we need a database so we go to database this is modified database and this is our database so this database name we just create so database what is our host our host is local host you know it's on this server you can just go to local host now we are not done you can see that this database has a user a privileged user but this one does not have so this database can never can never connect so the next thing you need to do is add user to database which user do you want to use this is my user which is our user here what are the database example is it the same thing here example wow you know this uh, user this user has this password so it's, it's the same thing for our host so after they click on hard So it's a short list of privileges. You can see these are the privileges. You can click on add privileges. Click on save changes. Now you have successfully created database. Now let's go to our page management to see what we have done. You have to come to this place, PHP management. To see what we have done so these are connection now i think let's, let's quickly connect to check whether our connection is working let me put our code inside this place so let's quickly connect using a simple query let me call this one connect so new um my sql let me use my sql so we are using um localhost what about the user? This is our user. This is our user. The database. Before this database, we need password. Yeah, this is our password. So this is our database. As you can see. So let me check like this if con. Let's go connected. Okay. Yeah. So I will need to go to my website now to check. You know, it's in index. But the website is uh, this is the website. I want to check whether it is connected. You can see connected. Okay. Now let's quickly check our PHP admin, the database we created. You can see the two data to be a database I have. The first one, the second is the one we created. This is the one. So you cannot find it in PHP. Admin. You can see this is not local. You can see the URL is not local. So this is connected. Let me just change something maybe this one is you know is incorrect like this so let's check whether it will still show connect like this this is is still correct like that let me change this one maybe let me just adjust this one okay now we need to change our query 
this our query is incorrect let me to change this our query to another so we change your query you can see we are unable to capture whether it is connected and let's let's find this um connect underscore error number so that means if there is error not connected else if there is no error so that's mean of this one you can see it connect error number is like if there is error it should just say not connected else that means if there is no error connected now let's check it here you can see not connected but it's because of this let me remove the uh, you know everything is okay now so let's check whether it will work now connected so that is a simple way to connect to your database using free hosting free domain you can upload your website here yeah, everything will work perfectly thank you so much and if you have any question or uh, anything that is not uh, that is obscure to you you want more more um tutorial on how to use this platform or how to import your project into this free hosting our domain you can just contact me my share descriptions under this video you will find my details my contact you can just send me a message on whatsapp and i will reply you immediately anything that is obscure to you just let me know and if you need any code i can share with you don't forget to subscribe to this channel in case i release other videos next time thank you